If you had been a guest in the lower south duplex in Casa Grande, you would have gone to sleep gazing at the 17th century painting Luna and Endymion, which is installed in the ceiling above the bed. William Randolph Hearst purchased this painting in 1921, believing that it was the work of Jean-Baptiste Van Lu. The painting is now attributed to 17th century French painter Simone Vouet. It is possible that this painting is one of the works of art from the Chateau de Chilly, which was decorated by Vouet in 1631 and later sold and dismantled in 1804. Luna and Endymion was originally displayed in Hearst Castle's assembly room during the mid-1920s, but was later moved to the South Duplex Suite on around 1933. The subject of this work, used in ceiling decorations, was popular in private bedrooms of palaces and manor houses of the wealthy because it served as an allegory of nighttime and of sleep. According to classical myth, Luna, also known as Selene in Greek mythology, would ride through the sky on her chariot nightly. One evening, she happened upon a handsome shepherd or hunter, depending on the region, named Endymion, and fell in love with him, deciding that she should never leave him. Luna asked Zeus to give the gift of immortality to Endymion to preserve his beauty. Zeus granted her wish, but on condition that Endymion would remain asleep for eternity. Luna was destined to visit her lover nightly, having 50 children with him. If this myth were a fable, the moral might be to be careful of what you wish because you might get it. Just as the moon has two sides, light and dark, so does love, joy, and sadness. Endymion is immortal and will never lose his beauty, but he can never wake. He is with Luna, yet not with her, as he can never smile at her kiss or be present with her ever again.